I'm Amanda, in case you haven't been here lately. I'm one of your hosts. <laughs> and I'm Kay. <laughs> What is so funny, Amanda? Wow, we never even introduced ourselves. <laughs> we just started talking. We started introducing ourselves in the beginning. And then now we don't anymore. <laughs> we just who do we think we are? <laughs> Podcast host. I'm dead. <laughs> Hostess yes. with the mostest. Clearly, clearly, we do be doing the mostest. So okay. <laughs> we virtual virtual today. Right. I mean, it's cool. It's cool or whatever. <laughs> you know, the calendar just be going, so. The calendar be calendaring. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't want to butcher it, so I'm glad you said it. <laughs> I was going to give it a shot for sure. <laughs> yeah, my little tongue is a little tired. It's been, I don't know, I've been just tripping over my words these last couple weeks. I don't know what's going on. Breathe. Slow it down. <laughs> That is the best advice I got all month. <laughs> okay, right. let's let's go back to the topic. What are we talking about today? The topic. So we are at the end of the month, moving into a new one. Let's talk about five things, like just five takeaways from February. What do we pick up? What do we okay. learn along the way? What do we experience? Let's get at it. Listen, I don't think y'all ready. <laughs> You can go ahead and pop it off. Oh my gosh. I mean, right. you, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. I can go because you know, my first one is be flexible and adjustable. So, what's up? Oh, okay, go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah, you came with the energy. Go off. Go off, sis. <laughs> Learned some pretty, pretty deep things about myself um, this February, January, February. <laughs> some, some things been popping off in my life that I ain't been so happy with lately and you know i gotta be flexible and adjustable like i thought i was you know but i think when you get so used to being, doing things one way and then it just flipped the script on you you'd be like hold up hold up now got too much dip on your chip <laughs> Slow down. got too much dip on your chip now <laughs> i wasn't really too happy with some of the things that were going on i am a bit of a control freak um, I don't really like that term control freak, but I do like to have control mm -hmm. because it makes me feel safe. It makes me feel like I know what's going on at every step of the way. Um, and sometimes when it doesn't happen, I just get all like messed up in my head. I just be like, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what to do. Um, but it just really reminded me that I have to be flexible and adjustable to, mm -hmm. you know, keep it yeah. steady. I love that. Because I'm the same way, um, a little bit of a control person, and it's been a prayer of mine to relinquish control and know that I can't control everything. Right, that is way too much work, and I cannot be God, so I'm gonna let Him have that. Um, <laughs> but <clears throat> yeah, um, that kind of ties into mine, though. Like one of my first takeaways for the month was centered and grounded, <laughs> like being mm. really just centered and grounded and listening to yourself. Um, I think you guys may have heard me talk about it in the last couple of episodes. Like I've been trying to pick up meditation, right? And um, I went to this class and like we talked about, went to Texas, went for this class and um, personal development and whatnot. And they literally taught us like a technique called center and grounded. And I was definitely taking it for granted in the beginning. I was like, here we go. Some more meditation crap. <laughs> not here yeah, for yeah. wasting my time but no that man when I say that that was like a different level of meditation and I love too that they also related it like you know if it's just meditation for you it's meditation like centered and grounded find like your your orange whatever your orange spirit is inside of you you find that and you hold on to it she's like if you're spiritual it's like tapping into the Holy Spirit listen to the Holy Spirit and so um that's really what it was and really having that space to practice that in I was like wow I am taking this through the rest of life with me so that was incredible but yeah just getting really centered and grounded and listening to yourself it will lead the way that is amazing I'm so happy for you <laughs> you know yeah, like, yeah but like you know like the, like your guide was saying 
it doesn't really matter like you know what your religion is or if you're spiritual or not but like whatever you can get out of that meditation is important and I'm glad you was able to hear it in that way and receive it because even even when you pray, there is a form of meditation that comes over you because you have to open up your mind and your heart to receive whatever you need in that prayer. And so right. now that you can think about it that way and still like pray and leave prayer to itself, but med- meditate and leave meditation to itself because they're both, they can be separate. Mm-hmm. Um, that's amazing. I'm excited yeah. for your journey. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. I was like, whoo. This is a superpower. I didn't unlock the new power. Okay, God. It is. It is. It is a superpower, and that's why I'm such a big advocate because I've never felt so strong in my life when I meditate and I just listen. Like I said, it's not about quieting your mind. It's it's just letting the thoughts just go through you and letting you just receive everything and then mm-hmm. take what you need and move on. And sometimes the thoughts are not great. You know, they make you feel some type of way. But right. you have to re- let them go. And, like, you got to just, like, breathe through it. And it also, like, allows you to, you know, center yourself and get your breath right, you know. Yes. Just Literally. really calm yourself. And so it's, it's it could be a very relaxing thing. So that's beautiful. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> Dang. That is interesting because... The fact that you said that you're open to meditation, it kind of like ties into the thing, the next takeaway for me in February. And it is knowing that I wasn't a real big advocate of change. Mm -hmm. Like I'm okay if it happens and it's like, okay, change, whatever. But my, my current job, we had a lot of changes that happened at work and they were really on me heavy. Like these changes was just kind of like, beating me down and it was like just spiraling me out of control because one you know I like to be in control and then when I (laughs) I, that control don't allow me to be flexible and adjustable and so now it's like now change is happening what am I supposed to do with that how am I supposed to be flexible um but it just kind of like reiterated that maybe just maybe I'm not okay with change Mm -hmm. um and I have to do something Mm -hmm. about that because if you're going to be flexible and adjustable, you have to be okay with change. Right. Um, but right. also, it's okay to say, like, I'm not okay with this, but be like, but I'm going to allow this to happen because either it might be for the, a great reason and sometimes maybe not, but right. just knowing that either way is fine. And if it goes either way, it's going to be fine. You, it'll mm-hmm. it'll all be fine eventually. Exactly. Major facts. Got to let go and let God. <laughs> <laughs> all the snaps <laughs> we don't be let go and then let god in though we don't be letting it happen <clears throat> we don't we really don't it, and so i will say for me i'll give myself a little more credit uh i have been a lot more lately um i feel like it started last february with me being like i'm leaving my job that is secure and that i am very comfortable in in order to, <clears throat> sorry, y'all, in order to um, just pursue like life, right? Like in order to really live my life on my terms, letting that go. And so uh, that was, that was, that was a lot for me. And I was like, Ooh, I don't know about this, yo, but I had to. And I yeah. mean, that, that's funny. I feel like all of our points keep bouncing off of each other, but like that yeah. leads to my takeaway. Like my next takeaway literally for February was crazy faith. Um, and obviously y'all know that's just how (laughs) that's the motto around these parts sometimes for me but um yeah like really leaning into that and knowing that I can't control everything and that I do have to let go but when I really let go and like my intention is clear my heart is right and like if it's for me it's gonna be for me God be showing up like it'd be crazy (laughs) like even just the end of February I did not know how I was about to pay for something that I was like, no, but like my heart is, I want to do it. Like, this is my intention. I'm going to go. Um, and like the, the, the deposit that I needed was like $500. I was like, I cool. Don't know, yeah. but sure. Here's my form. Here's my, whatever, like, here's my credit card information. Don't run it yet, but holla at me in a minute. Yeah. Um, and we'll just see what happens. Literally two days later, like before the the call was supposed to happen for if they run my card or not, my insurance company calls me. It's like, hey, remember that accident from blah, 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 blah? Yeah, that person didn't have insurance and you have this, this, that, and the other. So we're sending you a $500 check back. <laughs> All right, God. 
All right, God, got you. you. Crazy faith, just let it go. I got you. Yeah, that is Uh, amazing. That's really been my one of my biggest takeaways. Like, I'm not saying just be reckless out here because look, everything is not about faith, and y'all gotta really know if it's your heart that of actual faith or if it's you just out here being willy nilly and reckless. But if it's really something that like your heart is set on and it's of a good intention and desire, and if it's for you, God gonna work it out. Crazy faith. (laughs) I just let it go. Every single time. And the fact that you put the work in, you know, I feel like that's what a lot of people forget. It's like, yes, God will bless you, but are you willing to put the work in to one, receive that blessing and know how to take care of that blessing? And the fact that you are putting that work in, you are blindly believing that God's going to have favor over you and give you that, give you that favor. But you have put yourself in a situation to receive that favor by doing the work. Right. And what else is faith other than just doing it without seeing it? <laughs> if I can see it, if I can touch it, if I can do it, that's not faith. That is yep. just knowing. <clears throat> that's just doing. <laughs> exactly. Faith without work. Dead. <laughs> it's dead. dead. <laughs> I haven't heard that passage in a minute. I know it's true. That's a hard one. I feel like I reflect on that one a lot because I'm always trying to figure that out. Like the the difference between literally crazy faith, letting it go and not being in control and like, okay, but I have to do something because like faith without works is dead. I very much struggle with that like passage in itself. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is one to struggle with because it kind of, it's like, I believe in God but I'm going to still like do what I got to do. Wait, you're telling me to have this undeniable faith that God is going to bless me, but you're still telling me that I still got to put my boots to the ground. Right, right. (laughs) So I'm like, "Mm, how much work is like the (laughs) work? No, I'm kidding. (laughs) You know, but it's good though, because it teaches you how to navigate, you know, when it's hard. Um, and it also like makes you strong. Like it makes you yeah. so strong because it's going to happen again. Like you're mm-hmm. not just going to be living life solely like, Oh, everything is easy. No, you're going to have some trials and tribulations. That's just what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. So if you can get through every single task, you'll be fine. Yep. Absolutely. Hold on. <laughs> Dang, we getting deep this episode. It's only number two. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, right? Point number two. <laughs> Wait, we on number we on, that was the third takeaway, right? No, so now we're on the third takeaway. Oh, now yeah, now we're on the third takeaway. Yeah. Right. Um, so this is gonna be a big one. And I think this is gonna be a big one for black folks. Um, but I'm ready for therapy. I'm ready for therapy. I had my first consultation. Um, it was a quick one, but um, I'm ready. She's a black therapist. And we also, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, but like, not just because it's like the wave or the move, but I think I'm, I feel like I'm really ready now. I'm really mm-hmm. ready to just kind of unpack some of the things that happened in my childhood um, and so just really understand how those things make me who I am and why. Just really understand how those things make me who I am and why they are preventing me from propelling myself forward when I so badly want to move forward. But it's mm. a lot of things that are just innate, you know, learned attitudes, learned is of life that mm-hmm. I want to unpack and learn and just kind of. Uh, get a deeper like understanding of who I am that is what therapists are for yeah no she's not gonna like completely be able to tell me why why I am and who I am but she's gonna be able to allow me to understand things in a certain way and allow me to start to think about certain scenarios and situations that had happened to me before I'm my 31 year old self exactly yep Allow you to do the work to unpack it, to not just be holding on to that and stuffing it down. And yeah, to really figure, to really see you for you, right? Like to see yourself. Cause 
yeah, we walk around here every day, but so many of us don't even like see ourselves. Like there's people that physically refuse to look at themselves in the mirror, but outside of that, people don't see themselves. They don't, they don't know. They don't even know who they are. So how do we expect them to like, you know, they say, tell you, tell people how to treat you. People don't even treat themselves right and don't know who they are in order to tell somebody how to treat them. So absolutely 100 percent um and i just want to like that whole whole self conversation yeah. that we had with Nicole, you know i know i could do myself some justice by seeking therapy um not really loading it on my friends or hiding it you know packing it down like you said like a lot of us do but mm-hmm. actually just putting some a, a little trust in somebody who who has a degree to do this you know, like, yes, I can go to God. I could pray about it. But that's not always that's not always the last step. There are right. multiple steps that you can take in prayer and guidance and going to, you know, the Bible, God, you know, you could go to therapy, too. Yeah, Because some pastors come on out. Some pastors be therapists. Let's not forget Absolutely. they be counselors still. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's not forget. We go into their pastors, premarital counseling, marital counseling, all types yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And so I'm I'm ready. Um I I am going to accept it for what it is. I'm gonna be flexible and adjustable, and I'm gonna be okay with change. <laughs> yep. That right there. Hold on to that. <laughs> that right there. What you got? My next one is feedback like others perspective Mm -hmm. yeah um that's something that I'm not saying that like I'm not comfortable with it but I guess I just didn't really have a whole lot of it in my life um and I guess and maybe I did have it in my life but I didn't see it in this way but literally after going to Texas doing this program and literally having scenarios happen where it's like okay so now you're going to stand in the middle of this group which is about five to eight people. And they're going to give you, you're going to answer this question that we give you, answer it for two minutes. When we tell you to stop talking, you stop talking. And then we're going to give you feedback. Okay. So when feedback comes at you at like, oh, you're in resistance or you're playing small or you seem resentful. Like when feedback start coming at you, one, yes, you have to really be ready to receive it, which is why I think a lot of people don't get feedback don't ask for it shy away from it don't like people cannot take feedback um but i just realized like how helpful feedback is and really getting other people's opinions because like i just said people don't even know themselves or see themselves so if you refuse to do the work to see you for you at least try and get an opinion of what other people see of you, right? Like how you show up in the world. So whether it's like me, like walking up to one of my friends and being like, yo, what's your, what's your experience of me? <laughs> like when we hang out, what's your experience of me? Like that's something, right? Cause you don't know how you're showing up to other people and you don't know where the way you're showing up is stopping you from moving forward. You don't know where it's holding you back. You don't know where it's propelling you. And maybe you're shying away from like some of your greatness. Literally every single person told me uh, like, oh, I see boldness in you. Girl, what? You sound crazy. You are <laughs> you are. Like you, you, okay, but like, but see, that's what I'm saying. Like, having that come from so many different people, it's like, okay, well, now there's an awareness. Like, there's something that clearly I exude that I don't believe about myself or see. But maybe if I genuinely stepped into it, I would be propelling myself forward and really like doing better in life. So I'm just standing in my own way got it so that is definitely a big takeaway for this month for me like feedback and getting others opinions and i'm not saying just run out there and have the whole world yelling at you because some of that feedback could be toxic and it could be projection so i'm not saying that but i am saying if you have a trusted community circle group um and you really just kind of know want to know where you're at or how you're showing up in other people's eyes or in their life ask for some feedback be ready for it but ask for some feedback because it could really be either your stumbling block or your propelling starting block. So, wow, say that again. <laughs> it could be your stumbling block or it could be your propelling starting block. Where you get that from? That's deep. I ran track and it just kind of popped out of my mouth at the same time and it just worked. Oh. Okay, so like a coach said that before? 
No, but I just ran track and I'm thinking about like, you know, we have starting blocks, right? But there's also, you know, there's hurdles. So like as a track runner, that's the thing. Like hurdles, they could trip you up. But the, once you get off the blocks, that's your propellant. So it, it literally in my head, it just, it worked because I'm an athlete. <laughs> I don't know where that came right. from. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm that dead. That was fire, Amanda. That really just, I'm like, yeah, track. Let's use it. Go. <laughs> Trademark copyright girl. <laughs> Woo, that's deep. I, I'm i going to be honest. The feedback is a little hard for me because I be afraid that people are projecting. Mm-hmm. Because I also feel like not too many people really see you for you. Mm. Um, They see whatever, like, they want to see, you know, and a lot of the times as human people, as social people, we are friends with people or around people because we see a part of ourselves in them. And That's so right. I just be, yeah, Here. I'd be a little afraid to receive that feedback unless I really, really trust you. And then I'm like, no, this person is coming from a humble and an honest spirit. And I have to accept what they're saying mm-hmm. um, and, you know, adjust. You know, but I get it when you just don't be taking feedback from everybody. Yeah, no, definitely not. Because that's that's dangerous. And I feel like that can lead you down a spiral that um, you don't need to go down. You know, that's that's one. But also you do have to realize that, like you just said, like the friends and the people that we're around and we attract, we attract the very people that we can see things in. We wouldn't be able to see it in somebody if it wasn't already in us. Like, that's what I, I definitely learned and picked that up this week. Like, if it wasn't already in us, we wouldn't already be, we wouldn't be able to see it in somebody else. So if somebody is saying that they see it, yes, like it's a little bit of projection because it's like a mirror. So yes, but they're projecting a little because it's them. But if it wasn't in them and it wasn't in you, they wouldn't be able to see it. So, wow, yeah. That's powerful. And that's why it's so important. Like we are a social being, you know, being around other people, being able to connect. It's very, very important because that's Mm -hmm. how God created us. Uh, We have to be around like-minded individuals. We want to be fed Mm -hmm. from our friend groups, our family. Um, So you have to be social in order to feed that. Hey guys, I'm Kay. I'm Amanda. And we're your hosts of We Got Ish To Say. An Everyday Vibe podcast. podcast. We just wanted to drop in and say thank you so much for tuning into the show. And we wanted to invite you to our free community. Hey, an Everyday Vibe, because y'all know we a vibe. Period, Amanda. In this community, you have access to other viewers and you get to connect with them. And you also get a free newsletter that gives you updates and shares our affiliate links. Fire. And on top of that, we've created another level of the community. We realized that when we created this and started things, we wanted to build a community. We wanted to have conversation full of value, tips, tricks, and just help each other out. Tell We're them, Amanda. stronger together. <laughs> so in the subscription community, you get all of what Kay just mentioned. On top of that, you get behind the scenes. Obviously, there's things that are cut out of these interviews. They are way too long. You get us being us in our everyday life. And remember, we're brand owners, so there's photo shoots. You get behind the scenes of photo shoots that we do for our brands and really see what's coming up next. Damn! (laughs) Outside of that, there's also live Q&A sessions with our guests after interviews where you get to ask any other questions that you personally have to go deeper, right? We're trying to grow. We're trying to get out here and be stronger together. So you get to ask them and connect with them so that way you have more resources and you get access to our exclusive offers, secrets that maybe other people don't know, but we're going to drop them for y'all and so much more. So much more. Don't miss out to be a part of the paid community because uh, Amanda just listed a ton of stuff. So make sure you guys tap that link below to join our community. Love you. See you on the other side. Yeah. That's amazing. You coming in with the gems. I'm loving this journey that you're on. You teaching me my shoes. A journey for sure. (laughs) A journey. Was it with Clemmer? It was. The Advanced Leadership Seminar. So it's kind of like their second level after personal mastery. Got it. Yeah. Did mom go? She did. It was incredible. Yeah. It, yo, it was such a game changer. Yeah. I love that for my mom about to start a business now. She about to be out here. Yes. She's about to take her her banana pudding serious and start making it a business. (laughs) Woo! That banana pudding. 
banana pudding fine and that cheesecake yeah yeah so the, did she give me a peach cobbler i think so no she did i don't know if we had it yeah because my uncle made that and i don't think we had enough so yeah wow that's amazing i love that for you i love that for mama that just yeah. warms my little heart <laughs> Yo, it was a class of 72 and it was a lot of breakthroughs. So look, we're about to pop yeah. off. <laughs> wow. I know it must be so amazing. Like your mom is in a different generation from my mom, but the fact that you can like show her things about growth and living, you know, at the age that she is, I'm pretty sure she's like so proud of you. Yeah. And like, that's the thing too. Sometimes it's hard because like you run into like that resistance, right? Because mm -hmm. very set in the ways and the mindset and whatnot. And it's like, it's just, and the, the thing is too, is like, once you're in it, like you start to see everybody else's, as they call them like sunglasses. Like you start to see all the ways of resistance and all the like excuses and the things that they throw out because it's really just their fear talking. And it's like, mm -hmm. bruh, be okay with like, like you said, change number one, because I was not either, but it's like, be okay with change. Be okay with like a new mindset, a new frame of thinking. Be okay with getting out of your own way. Like it, it's time you can, no matter what age yeah. you are, you can still live your best life right now. It don't have to end that way. Yes. No matter what age you are, you can still live your best life right now. Now. <laughs> like, and now. <laughs> yeah. There's no time to wait. <laughs> Literally. Wow, that's amazing. You're right. Like a lot of our takeaways are like very similar. They are. I'm like, why do they keep going hand in hand? Okay. They are going <laughs> hand in hand. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of drop. I'm I, now I'm really excited to see what your next one is because I'm like, <laughs> dang, these are so similar. Um, uh, my next one is to be selfish with my time. For okay. real, for real. Not yeah. like, play, like, for, like for real, like, nah, bruh, you can't have my time. Mm -hmm. Like, no, I can't do that because I have X, Y, and Z happening. Like, I cannot do that. Like, for real, for real. We People say they're, like, selfish with their time and, like, they value their time, but they be on all bullshit. Correct. <laughs> like... Correct. And I'm going to say that because I've been on bullshit with my time. And guess yeah. what? It's a wrap. Yeah. And I can actively say it because I'm on bullshit with y'all. But guess <laughs> what? Not in March. Not in March, baby. Lesson Not learned. in March. Look, because if you really know what today is, then I'm going to say, I say even before March. But guess what? Not in March. Right. <laughs> Not Correct. on tonight. Yeah. Not on tonight. <laughs> Don't learn today. <laughs> and you know, and with that being said, like being selfish with my time and just really like maximizing it, you know, mm -hmm. like really fully maximizing the little 12 hours that we get, you yeah. know, just really okay. maximize it, being selfish hours. with my time. Huh? I lied. I said that 12 hours. <laughs> 12 hours exactly you no know, i i'm i'm a i'm like at the point where i don't know if it's because of my age you know and they always say like when you hit a certain age you just be like no and mm -hmm. i i like i literally 30 i was like nah yeah. but i was still kind of <laughs> like mm, maybe but no i'm like no <laughs> absolutely Stop. not I'm capital N O solid on it. Nah. <laughs> solid on the no. Solid heavy on the no. Heavy on the this ain't for me. Mm-hmm. You know, because Feel that. there is so many things. Like I literally just like counted out all the obligations and the commitments that I have that I created for myself. And I'm like picking at them like, okay. Is this really a commitment? Is this really an obligation? Is this really like necessary right. um, to to one be self be more selfish with my time so I can put that energy into that? Um, and mm -hmm. I think it was really important earlier we were talking <clears throat> off the record, and Amanda <laughs> was talking about how she had to step away from a few things because they're not all 
co- uh, correlating together. So she had to step away. And I totally 100% understand that. The more you we get deeper into certain parts of our businesses, the harder it gets to just continue to give it your all. Um, yeah. And they love to say, you can only serve one master. Like, and it's kind of true because you can only focus on one thing at a time. Yep. You know, so, you know, but yeah, just being selfish with my time for real, for real. I'm not mad at that. I love that. Um, I, I know that's something I said I was going to do this year too. And I've definitely been on the BS. So um, <laughs> we're gonna, month three, third time's a charm, right? Let's try it again. <laughs> we ain't giving up. I'm not going down without a fight. Exactly. No, but I love it because it's, it's, it's great when you're, circle around you also kind of shifts and is on the same kind of time and energy um you guys well it's been episodes ago now but our homie lance that was in like episode five or something i don't know same thing he's been on the same type of time right it's like yo if i'm showing up or i'm popping up it's like a vip experience because this is the only time you get me because i i gotta do me i'm focused and i love that like i love that we are truly choosing to be more focused on our goals and on ourselves this year um and doing what it is that we got to do because tomorrow ain't promised life is short things keep getting crazier the days keep going faster the months keep flying like i don't know so yeah at what point are we going to choose us right so yeah i love it i feel it catch the wave because i'm not mad at it one bit Um, it's crazy to me because no shade on February, but y'all know y'all could have gave us a 31 month. <laughs> 31 a day month. But why does February make you realize that like the year is moving forward? Uh, <laughs> like <bro. laughs> It's like dang, it's already March. I feel like February passes, I blink and it's like April or May, and I'd be like, Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, bet. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Fast. Don't know. Let's see but, if we're on the same way. What's your what's your next one? Not, not so much. So my next okay. one is choose some. Well, maybe mine is choose something to step into. Um, and so I guess a little bit because you're choosing to step into like your selfishness with your time. Um, for me, I'm choosing like different qualities to step into. Right, qualities that mm. are not just how do I? I don't even know how to word this, but basically like qualities that are going to be something that I hold on to for life because we have different, we'll call them like mechanisms, right? We have different tips and tricks and things that um, we've learned and that we hold on to, but eventually that's going to die, right? Because think about a car, right? You buy a car, you run it, you run it, you run it, you run it. Eventually the car gives out. Eventually the car dies, right? But a quality, something that is like ingrained and is a, a part of your being that can't die. Like you just keep perfecting it. Yeah. Um, so I'm choosing qualities to step into. Uh, mine just wow. says nobody cares, but I'm gonna tell y'all anyway. My mine that I'm choosing to step into are boldness, um, courage, and being trusting. So, uh, look, girl, I also realize a lot of people got trust issues, and we be out here front like mm-hmm. we don't. People got trust issues, but anyway, that's another story. Um, but those are like my qualities that I'm choosing to step into and I just feel like like I said like choosing qualities and things that are absolutely like going to be uh, something that's ingrained in you something that you actively practice and retrain your mind to pick up and to hold on to that is going to show up and serve you a lot longer than anything else and so um that was my takeaway definitely like choose a quality to step into choose something to step into and hold on to it because it's just like commitments that i've talked about before when you make a commitment to yourself and you keep it that builds a type of like trust and strength inside of you and then you just okay on to the next one on to the next one and it keeps building until you've built a very strong foundation and house compared to it being on shaky ground so find something to step into and stick to it <laughs> Give these people what they need, Amanda. Stupid. <laughs> no, for real, because that was truly amazing. Like, I am taking that away today. That is fire. Use one. Choose some. <laughs> There's Choose a million of them out there. <laughs> like, you are absolutely right. I feel like 
I have not done that in a while. Um, because I feel like I did all the work, you know, I'm like, Oh, I reached this level of like openness and courage and like in myself, like I love myself. I trust myself. Um, I'm open with myself, but there's still more levels that I need to reach. And there are different qualities that I want to have. And like you said, qualities don't die, you know, like stuff. do. So thank you. Wow. I got you. (laughs) You dropping a firebomb today. Hey, I feel like I went to Clemmer. Like, shoot. That, right? That part, though. <laughs> I think I need to be in the meeting on that one. No, absolutely. Um, I'm, Y'all, look, always start at PM, three-day weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's not that bad. The classes are, our classes for advanced leadership, whew, they were long. They tested us. They they tested us mentally, physically, like they tested us, but it was so wow. worth it. Um, it was definitely so, so worth it. But yeah, start at a personal mastery, three day weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's not as intense, but it still does. The, it gets the ball moving. Like it definitely serves yeah. its purpose. Um, and like I said, like anybody who's interested, Clemmer is nationwide. They are everywhere. And they have two versions. They have a regular, they have a quickening version. So if you definitely want to take like your class and have it relate to the Bible more, there's a version called a quickening, same thing, wow. three day weekend, but they will relate everything that they teach you to the Bible. So that way you can see it working in the Bible and the way wow. God and Jesus talk about it. Yeah. Um, and like I said, I got a discount code. They are very familiar with us at this point. So y'all let me know. It's worth it. <laughs> Shout out to the people that made Glimmer, you know, because yeah. there is, Brian Clemens. That is beautiful. Helping people master self, like on a global level. Yeah. I'm sure that's like so much healing in that. Man, so, so much. Mm. It's, it's, and really, like, if each person really takes it away and keeps taking it out into the world, and if more people get involved and just do the work on themselves, like, it really could change the world. Like, it could really change when you show up. So, yeah. Yeah. It could change the world. Yeah, I truly believe that. Um, I just, I really feel like it's just too many of us that are so concerned with the masses and what they think and how everybody else is going to perceive you instead of mm-hmm. creating your own path and being your best self. Yeah. Um, but we all know that the way this world is made for us to live, it's not, it, it doesn't really want us to be that because... Mm-hmm. We're, we're, they want us to do what they want us to do so we exactly. could create the lives that they want to have and the, exactly. the America that they want instead of everybody mm-hmm. everybody being free um, and having full autonomy over their bodies, their minds, their money, you know, everything. They don't, they don't really want that. So it's just really um, amazing that, that there is a group out there. And I'm sure there's many, many, many self-help uh, groups out there that help people find their best self. Um, thank you for sharing that with us, Amanda. Y'all yeah. better check out Clemmer because she just dropped some man self I'll mastery. The, the, I'll put the the website yes. link down there in the bio, and y'all can check out. Find it in your state, city, town, whatever. Hit me up if you need a discount. <laughs> <laughs> Period. <laughs> discount code. I love self work. <laughs> yeah. Man, well, I think this kind of sets me up for my my last takeaway, Amanda. Um, okay. And I'm gonna just this is a this is something that I've been struggling with for a while, and how I need to run my business and just my my entire like life setup. Transparency is my niche, and I have to be okay with that. Mm-hmm. I am taking away that. Transparency is my niche and I have to be okay with that. So that means when I show up in my businesses, when I, whether it's on social media, um, marketing, I have to be transparent because Mm -hmm. that's the way that I relate to my customers. That's the the way people are going to see me in my business. Um, And I have to lean into it, even though I really don't want to, because I have to be open more. Mm -hmm. Um, and allows people to see you when you're more transparent Mm -hmm. but that's the only way that I know how to be I can't be anything else so 
I have to lean into that transparency and just let my business shine through it. I love that. I absolutely love that. And you do. Cause that's, that's the true you. What like, what we hiding for? <laughs> what are we hiding for? I don't want y'all to see me. I'm, I'm so hiding. Good. Is that a problem? <laughs> it's so funny. Um, y'all have heard me mention Dr. Charles before, but, um, I've been tapping in with him a little more lately to work on something. And it's so funny because he literally just said that like last week, he was like, so many people want to be acknowledged, but they don't want to be seen, which is like, Oh, okay. That's real. Like that is so real. And it's like, why, what is that? What is that? I don't know. Afraid of judgment, afraid of how you're going to sound. Maybe you won't get the outcome that you want. Or maybe you're going to get the outcome that you want. And it's scary because you're like, oh, damn, I can do this. Yeah. So it's just like fear. But like you said, what does fear do? (laughs) Literally, all it does is hold you back. And literally, like I've told y'all before, Clemmer taught me fear and excitement feel exactly the same way. Butterflies in your stomach, sweat, palms, nerve it. Like they show up the exact same way. So it's about what you call it. It's about what you choose. So if you wow. chose fear, you chose fear. You chose to be afraid. If you choose to be exciting and it excites you, you chose to be excited. It's the same feeling either way. It's what you call it. So basically what you're saying is you can trick your mind. Instead of saying like, I'm afraid, you could just be like, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. Because Absolutely. your mind is that easy to be tricked if you literally just tell it something else. Absolutely. Yep. Dang. It's the same feeling. Your body's going to have the same reaction. So you might as well tell Ooh. it something great. <laughs> you might as well tell it something great. <laughs> you might as well tell it something great. <laughs> That's why that mindset is so important and speaking to yourself with a, a higher positive t- positivity. Speaking to yourself in a higher positivity is definitely going to help you do that mind shift and mm. replace the word fear with excitement. I'm going to yep. do that. That's Look. that's my goal for the, for March. Replace I the word it. fear with excitement. Mm-hmm. I'm, excited. <laughs> I'm excited. That's funny, but that, that one does kind of segue into my next one. Oh. Um, and so my, my last takeaway was that the body achieves what the mind believes. Um, and so, yeah, (laughs) whatever you tell your mind, whatever you're pushing towards, whatever you're pushing to do, whether it's a fitness goal, your five by five, jump off of a pole, I don't know, whatever it is. Um, (laughs) no, but I do have a story about a pole and jumping off of it that I'm going to tell you. Oh, spicy. Um, yeah. Okay. Here we are for the third episode. Don't listen to Kay. <laughs> you cannot listen to her. <laughs> Don't listen to me, y'all. I just be talking all shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, whatever it is, like literally, and it, it almost wraps back into like my first one of being centered and grounded. Literally, it's a matter of like just what you tell your mind, right? Like whatever you're telling your mind your body's gonna achieve it and same thing like i've said before like whatever you say out loud like your heart doesn't know any better so it just says okay so be careful what comes out of your mouth because your heart's listening so be positivity let it be all good let it be all powerful let it be all uplifting because yeah whatever your mind believes that's what it's going to achieve so if you believe you can do it you're just going to keep pushing to do it oh my gosh okay I had five takeaways and that was five, but let me add this one on as like a sub takeaway to this last one. Literally, they taught us this weekend or last week. I was gone a whole week, y'all. I'm just confused. Anyway, they taught us whatever week it was that I was gone. Um, (laughs) Girl, I got too much going on. They taught us whatever week it was that I was gone back in January. um, That literally, and this is literally like scientifically proven. And so if I have to go find the website and the research to prove it to y'all, I will. Somebody asked for it because I'm not doing this for the heck of it. Right. If you ask for it and you really want it, I'll go find it for you. I'll send it to you. Let me know. Drop a comment, leave, whatever. Y'all know how to find me. Um, but scientifically proven that when you think that you were like at your absolute like wits end, like you can't take anymore, you can't push anymore, literally scientifically proven, your body's only at 40%. 
you're only at 40 percent bruh that means you have so much more to push so much more to give so much further to go like stop playing with me yes. your body <laughs> will achieve what your mind believes push <laughs> so push so when you be in the gym you be like okay i can't take no more you be only at 40 percent literally you know? literally you could go you could do like ed Milet says one more one more rep when you think you're done add one more rep <laughs> i do i do that a lot i will i will say if i feel like okay i'm done i'm like just one more just one more um yep. even when i say i'm only gonna do 25 i always do one more you know just because yeah. like yeah. you said your mind oh wow your body only achieves what your mind think you can achieve uh believes. your body achieves what your mind believes mm-hmm your body achieves what your mind believes. Dang, that's fire. I'm writing it down on my board when I get <laughs> I'm writing it on my board. Because that's just a reminder that, like, I could do more. And I'm not tired. Mm-hmm. Like, I have 60 more percent to go. That's a lot. That's more than what I did. Look, bruh, look, so much more. <laughs> <You're> over <laughs> half the... <laughs> It's more than half. It's over like, half of what I already did. Yeah, like stop playing. How was that yeah. even possible? That's crazy. Yeah. That is that is wild. Like, Ooh. wow. <laughs> that is, that is. Well, I mean, you we dropped it today. Yeah, those were our takeaways. Y'all let us know what some of your takeaways were. Leave it in the comments. Um, what are some takeaways that you got or just found in the midst of traveling through February <laughs> what are things Probably that you picked up and <laughs> what are things that you picked up and that stuck with you let us know we want to know shoot maybe it's something we need to reflect on too how yeah, do you feel about our takeaways <laughs> well that was an amazing episode I am so grateful to hear about your takeaways and I'm so excited to see how your march goes um, I mean, we're going to be trucking along together, so we're going to be able yeah, to yeah. definitely um, lean on each other. And, you know, I'm here for you, girl. So if you need anything, uh, bouncing ideas off of or just like, girl, it's been a struggle this week. You know, I'm here. Um, and like Amanda right. said, please tell us your takeaways so y'all can help us, too. Please. please. This ain't no one way street. Right. We don't have all the bars out here. We know y'all got some, too. <laughs> facts <laughs> well <clears throat> this brings us to the end of our episode um five takeaways from february don't forget to use the comments below if you are watching this on youtube thank you so much to the followers the subscribers yes we you appreciate you y'all y'all taking it to the next level thank you <laughs> Thank you. We are so appreciative. We do have a community. Don't forget, we have a paid community for um, an everyday vibe. And in that paid community, you get access to more uh, content from us. Also, uh, live Q&As with us and our guests and so much more. So please yeah. tell your friends to check out our podcast because we out mm -hmm. here growing and glowing, y'all. Yes, we are. <laughs> Especially Kay after her Hawaii trip. <laughs> I ain't got no tan. I wish I was glowing. I'm over here looking pale as I don't know what. Well, y'all know where to find us offline. You can always find me at smile underscore four underscore Amanda or at love.vibes on Instagram. And I know you can find Kay at I am Sade Brand on Instagram for my personal Instagram page and Everyday People World on Instagram for Everyday People Sunglasses Brand. Yeah, yeah. And of course, you can find us both at the podcast at We Got Ish to Say Pod on Instagram. If you're on Twitter, it's We Got Ish to Say Pod Two, the number two, not T O. Watch the TikTok; it's a good time over yeah. there. It's a good time. It's time that we get to let out, you know, that steam and you know a little bit of that frustration. We always start the day off with a uh, performing for y'all. Right, you see a little bit more of us, so <laughs> definitely make sure you're checking that out. Uh, we will see y'all on the next episode. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>